In this video, I'm gonna be going over how to manage customer issues or questions inside of monday.com. I'll be explaining which board to use, how to use that board, and also some further customization recommendations to make it suitable for your business. Welcome to the channel. My name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Just before we get into the video, if you do need any further help with monday.com, please check out my website below. We would be more than happy to assist. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. So once you have logged into monday.com and you have navigated to your workspaces area, what we firstly need to do in order to manage customer issues or questions inside of your monday.com system is go to the add button up the top left hand corner here and then we wanna to go to choose from templates. Now there is a very, very useful template that will shortcut all of the effort and time it would take to manage this and set it all up. And this is something that I would strongly recommend using um, just to get going with uh, customer issues or customer management. So if we go ahead and just search customer requests is what it's called, it should appear on the right hand side here. It's a new board that's just been added, uh, as you can see, called customer requests. So what we need to do is just go ahead and press the use button. Now it's got an interesting name. I probably wouldn't call it customer requests. If anything, I'd actually suggest changing it to maybe, um, in fact, I'm going to change it to cases. And then as you can see, I would change requests again to cases here. So we've got cases and cases are essentially issues or questions that our customers have with regards to a product or service that we're offering. And obviously we need a means of managing these questions or uh, issues to ultimately get them resolved inside of our monday.com system. So we have a few different stages from the case being open or open cases to working on it, to actively looking to resolve the issue or answer the question, to then finally completing that particular case. So that is essentially what customer support is. The issue comes in, we, we manage it on the monday.com system and then look to resolve it as quickly as we can. Now there, as you can see, uh, three different subcategories here. We've got open cases, working on it and done. I think these are all very, very self-explanatory. We've got open cases, which is when they initially come into the system and then working on it is when we are managing them and done when they are completed. So there are two ways in which a case can come into your monday.com system. We have got the uh, very obvious option of a user just adding the case into the system. Let's say a customer calls or they email or they maybe even text. Um, and then you obviously just manually add the information, the issue that they're having. Um, and then obviously you enter that into the monday.com system. The other option that you have, and I would strongly recommend using this, is the form up the top here. This allows a user to, to fill in a form, essentially the, the request, they can enter in a description of the issue or question that they've got, they can fill in some additional information and it will automatically populate in the open cases area. And then we can manage the working on it and then obviously having that question or issue resolved. But I will come on to forms in a moment's time later on in this video. But let me firstly just walk you through the different fields on the existing board. And then I'll recommend a couple of additional fields or columns that I would suggest adding. So firstly, we've got request. So what is the request? You, you obviously can change this to something else, maybe the case name. Um, and you could have that automatically generated or they could fill that in themselves. So we've got at the moment, we've got rebranding um, and that is just a name that's been given to this example here. But let's say it's a customer question that they have. They could just put question about product X, for example. And then in the description area, they'd write out a description. For instance, the question that they have or the issue that they're having with their product, they would explain it in as much detail as possible. We've obviously also got created at. So this is the date that this particular record or this particular item was created. And we can manage the priority of the issue as well. So if it's a top paying customer, we obviously want to jump on the issue as soon as we possibly can. Or if it's just a very, very simple question that's not going to make any difference to a customer, really, then you can mark it as a low priority. But obviously you can manage the different priority levels as you so wish. We can also assign cases to users, which is something we obviously want to be doing. We assign a case to a user, so it's then their responsibility to solve the problem or answer the question. And we've got due date. So due date is very important just to help us manage the case or the question and to get it, get it resolved. When do we anticipate this problem or uh, question is going to be answered? If it's a very simple question, you could hope that it would be done within 24 to 48 hours. 
if it's a very complex issue that some particular customer is having with their unique product, it may take a little longer. But just managing the due date is very, very useful. Now we've also got status. So this is the status of the case. And if you select it, we've got working on it, stuck, waiting for approval, done or new. And you can of course customize these to suit your business or and how you anticipate you're gonna manage your customer issues and the different status stages that they that the issue or the question is going to go through. And what I'd also recommend if you'd like to is automating the status. So when it equals done, for example, you can move it to the done category um, and then stuck, you could have a different area as well. You could add additional subcategories. Now, one additional feature that I like, or um, we've got a column here for is files. And that is just so we can upload any files in relation to the case or uh, the case that we've got, whether it be a question or an issue. And that can be added from the form area as well. So let's say the user is taking a screenshot of an issue that they're having with a product. They've uploaded that particular file and then that could be seen by the users inside of the monday.com system to manage that issue. We then have type. So obviously, again, this is going to be quite specific to your business, but I feel like monday.com have done a very good job of covering most of the basic most of the bases here. We've got technical support, billing question, suggest improvement, suggest a new feature, report a bug or other question and obviously there's always going to be the case is always going to have a certain type and then you could then filter by type and manage by type as well and then we've got sla which obviously service level agreement and you can allocate the amount of time associated and then here is another really good feature is how long it's open so i don't like the way that's being written out but essentially you could just manage by using the time tracking field here to manage the amount of time that this case has been open and you could leave that running for as long as you like and then come back and see and maybe that should be the way it's managed it's entirely up to you or maybe that is just the amount of time that has been spent on that particular case so you can then pause it and start it then finally, we've got request a name, request an email and phone number, and that information would either come in via manual input or via the form, whichever one is most applicable, whichever one is being used in that instance. So hopefully you kind of understand how this board would work and you'd manage all the different areas. So you've got open cases to them working on it. So once the case comes in, someone's assigned it, they jump on it um, and they begin working on resolving the issue or answering the question. Now, I would also recommend customizing this as much as you can to fit your business. So maybe adding the product or the product, for example, that it's in relation to. So maybe you've got multiple products that might be very helpful. And I'm sure there are other factors that I can't think of that would be most applicable to your business and the way your business functions. So once we move on from the main table, the way this has been broken down is actually really, really useful. So we've got all requests at the top, which is exactly the same as main table. So that's fairly useless, but we've actually got open requests and close requests. So you may end up just operating from the open requests area, or maybe you may end up operating from you just the working on it. You could create an additional view that just shows the working on it and also the close requests as well. This obviously prevents the page from just becoming very, very polluted. Uh, as you, all of the cases are going to mostly or hopefully end up done, then you just want to see the open cases and the, the cases that you're working on it. So it's a great way of breaking down the information there. So we've also got the form, like I mentioned earlier in this video, and this is where we can share the form. We can embed it on a website or we can share the link with our customers and they can submit a form and that information will then directly feed into our monday.com board for our cases. Um, and then we don't have to manually input any information. They can log the issues that they're having, the description, and they can upload any files. And this is a really, really good way of managing any issues. You can see how this would look. If I press the preview button, we can see here, this is exactly what the form would look like to a client. Um, and they can fill in all the relevant information and that gets fed back to the system. So I'd strongly recommend using the form for your cases. It's very, very useful. And then finally up the top here, we've got the Kanban view. So you can see all of the different stages and this relates to the status. And I, of course, recommend customizing this to suit your business. If I go ahead and just press the more button, we've got team workload and status breakdown up the top here. If I go to team workload, you'll be able to see which members of the team have got the most cases to manage. Um, and also we've got status breakdown. So, so the status breakdown is just a great way of managing the status of different items inside of your cases board. So you can use that 
if you would like to. So let's head over or head back over to the main table. Hopefully this video has been valuable and you are now all set to manage any issues or questions your customers may have and you can do all of this inside of your monday.com system very very easily i strongly recommend doing a little bit of customization just to fit it to your business and i would also strongly recommend utilizing the form option inside of monday.com hopefully this video has been of use and i'll see you in a moment's time you should now be set to manage any questions or issues your customers may have inside of monday.com and you can do it as quickly and efficiently as possible if you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful please consider giving it a like possibly even subscribing if you have any further questions at all you are more than welcome to drop a comment below or you could email me as my details in the description below and I will do my best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and hopefully I will see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.